Herbs in Action, reflections and stories from the Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens Botany in Action Fellows, discussing herbs from around the world. My name is Zoe Hastings. I am a PhD candidate at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, and I'm studying agroforestry systems, land use systems that integrate trees and other plants and or animals. So they're kind of a combination of agriculture and forestry. And the herb I would like to talk about today is pokinahina. The Latin name of the herb is Vitex rotundifolia. Pokinahina is native to Hawaii and other parts of the Pacific. It's a sprawling shrub that has rounded leaves that are silvery green in color on top and have kind of a whitish underneath. It has small purple flowers that are in clusters at the top of the plant. And the name actually po means round and hina hina means silver. The name po hina hina really refers to leaves of this plant. The leaves have a bit of the ability to repel insects and so often it was put in drawers with fabric to repel bugs. And then also the tips of the branches and the young leaves are used in lay making, so making Hawaiian lei or necklace garlands. The leaves of pokinakina can be boiled and consumed for a tea and used in, in salves to soothe the skin and reduce inflammation. Pohinahina also has these long sprawling arms, so it's kind of like a, a shrub that crawls along the ground and then those arms root into the soil and so it can be good for erosion control and that's one of the, the uses at the site where we are working on restoring agroforestry. Thank you to Mahialani Botello and Nalia Heimuli and Miley Wong for their sharing their knowledge about Pohinahina with me. Herbs in Action is a collaboration between Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens and the Saturday Light Brigade and is made possible by the Mary Jane Berger Memorial Foundation, dedicated to educating the community about the many benefits and uses of herbs. To hear this feature again or to learn more about herbs from around the world, visit mjbergerfoundation.org.